Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at wives having meltdowns after getting caught cheating. But let's jump right in, after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Yo, who the f*** is Brad? Dang, well that was probably not what he wanted to see. Now he knows she ain't loyal though. I'm with. Alright. Act like that. Oh, alright, what? Where you going? Where are you going? Stop. Where you going? Stop. Where are you going? Stop. Huh? Just huh? No. no, just admit it. Mike. Just admit you was gonna do something, weren't you? I wasn't going to. That's a lie. I would not. I wouldn't. You don't want the Vegas. You don't want the Vegas right? Fuck him, right? You don't want the Vegas right? Fuck him, right? Leave. Get out of here. She really just ran out like that with no sort of remorse. This girl is so toxic, and I hope karma gets her back. I mean, I don't care if my husband looks through my phone. If he wants to ruin his day, that's on him. She just admitted to straight up cheating. Come on, man. All right, put a finger down. Oh, girl edition. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've ever made out with tongue. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've ever done the walk of shame. <laughs> Put a finger down if you're sleeping with my boyfriend. Dude, why? What? Get out of the car, bro. Seriously. What are you talking about? I thought we were friends. No, but what are you talking about? Bro, don't act like I'm stupid. <laughs> Get out. It's not funny. Claire, yeah. I didn't do it. Stop crying. Stop giving me that <laughs> As she should. I'm happy she exposed her so-called friend in a TikTok. The world needs to know what's up. Wow, the amount of disrespect here. A vacation he took her on? That's absolutely heartbreaking. License and registrations, please. Wow. Ah, uh, sir, in this car, can you please step out of the vehicle onto the left? Hey, partner, uh, I've got this one. Uh, both of you, please, just on the left side. Can you please face the vehicle and put your hands where I can see them? You too, ma'am. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, sir. Can I please get you to come over here? And can you please stand and go in a straight line and put one foot in front of the other? Ah, oh, yes. Um, how long have you known this woman for, sir? Uh, about a couple years now. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's my wife, sir. That's your wife? That is my wife. Really? Wow, I had no idea. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss of words. Can you please stand back near your vehicle, sir? Sure. I can't believe this. I can't believe it either. Sir, I'm going to need you to go back in your vehicle and you can leave. Let me go. Yes, yes, sir. You can leave before I get angry. Grab this stuff. Yeah, that's fine. I'm trying to say before I go. We are both victims of her games. No worries, mate. It's not your fault. You're not the married woman who made Tinder. No worries, mate. How could you do this to me? Wasted seven years on this. You know what? Oh, you can call your mum and she can come pick you up wherever the hell we are. 
Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'll be all right, boys. That must have been so awful to see and embarrassing as well. Your wife is committing crimes in so many ways. She's caught. You're caught. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're getting posted. <laughs> I will never trust bitches again, I swear to God. Go ahead. <laughs> She's sick. Hey, I'm stuck in this car though. She got to take me home, but damn, I would never trust bitches again. On Jesus Christ. She's stuck in this car. Oh, God. Hey, what's the move though? Good. Not the playing it off cry. It's absolutely mind boggling how some of these cheaters are so delusional. Here's a quick tip for all the wives out there. If your husband says he's gonna fix something, he will. You don't need to keep reminding him every six months. <laughs> Dang, bro just shut his wife down on the spot, but hey, he's right. Move in together. It speeds up the breakup process. Follow me for more relationship advice. I haven't cackled this hard in a while. I love this lady. Say hi, I'm Sarah, what's your name? Idra. I'm Dylan Stark's girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> she really said me too. Not gonna lie, that was low-key funny. Not the cheating part, but the me too. So, I was supposed to go on a date with this girl tomorrow, and she cancels kind of last minute, but with an all-time bad excuse. Something about having to go to celebratory drinks for a co-worker's promotion, you know, something you look for an excuse to get out of. So what do I do? My petty ass remembers Taylor Swift's in town. So I say, damn, that sucks. I was gonna surprise you with Taylor Swift tickets. Guess you can't go now. She comes back with the, oh, I'd hate for those to go to waste. Let me see if I can get out of it. I said, no, no, all good, sweetie, sorry. I just already invited my mom. She can go, she's a huge Swifty. Do I have Taylor Swift tickets? God, no. But now this girl's gonna go her entire life thinking, damn, if only I didn't cancel on that guy, I could have went to Errors Tour for free. And me? I'm probably gonna be alone. And that's just how life goes. Damn, that is some sweet revenge right there. Gotta feel bad for this girl though, who's gotta live her life without T-Swift. Out of the car! What the f are you doing? Jeez, dude, this girl is a straight up red flag. Time to step away from this girl. Wait, how long is your daughter? She's nine months. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital, so he's very ill, so I'm looking for like a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I, no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? Yeah, we, we're still together. Wait, okay. I'm looking for like, uh, you know, just in case. Just in case if he passes away? Right. Get the French toast out of here. Are you serious? Yes, Kendra. You have to have one in the chamber, Kendra. Come on now. Yep, you need one in the chamber, right? How sick and demented. Now, for folks that do that know, this clip actually happened a little over a year ago. So I don't know if any of you guys know, but, but I really found out if she found a step dummy to step up. There is no way she actually said that. Why isn't she supporting her husband in the hospital? This is all kinds of messed up. I was dating you guys a couple? Yeah. yeah. So you guys trust each other? You guys keep it 100? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So what if I said switch phones right now for 30 seconds? Uh-oh. Yeah. What's your name? Lot. So who's Jacob? Who the f is Jacob? All right, give me my phone. <laughs> no, no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got caught. Oh. You asked John for some money. Give me my phone. Wow. You asked John for some money for it. You wasn't going to give it to me. 
Whoa! Imagine if they never came across this conversation. The gallivanting wouldn't have been exposed. What's so crazy too is I asked him for money because you was <laughs> you wasn't gonna give me any. Holy shit! Who the dreaded phone search? See if she's cheating. The easiest way to tell is by asking to see her phone. I'm at the age where if he's not my husband, he's not my boyfriend. Let's talk about it. What I mean by that is if I am going on dates with someone and I realize that they are not the love of my life, they're not my husband, then I will not put a title on that relationship because how is my husband going to find me when I'm cuffed in a relationship? This woman is so delusional, it's not even funny. Let me guess, you didn't know she was married, did you? Who are you, big guy? Hey, look, my wife just walked out of that motel. Everybody, the married woman. Who are you, big guy? Go away. Who are you? I'm, I'm not I'm you. her husband, by the way. Your husband that's not yep. married. Can't go away. Oh, we've been arguing for two weeks, but she's officially split up. I'm glad I just got my kids. Thank you very much. Your kids. I've lived in my own house for over a year. Get in y'all's ride. Thank you. Hey, everybody, I'm fixing to make you famous, Bambi. I don't care. You too, whoever you are. No way. This is going to be wonderful. Next time, turn 360 off on your son's phone that tried to get a hold of you all night long. Both of them crying. I want to go to mom's. You're a real piece of I just Enjoy that. Lay hands on me, there won't be nothing to you, boy. Don't lay hands on you, please. Just go away. Where's my children? Your kids are with my mom. Everybody never get a wife like this because they wake up with a stranger. Who's my stranger? Look on YouTube, you'll find it. Goodbye, guys. Not only do I feel awful for the man, but for the kids as well. This is just upsetting. It feels absolutely amazing to finally spread my legs and be the person that I know I am musically. You just said spread your legs. I just said spread, <laughs> spread my wings musically. She really paused mid-sentence to make sure people were laughing. Sucks when she founds out absolutely nobody was. Nah, bro, I knew it, bro. Bro, look, look, you see? Bro, bro. Nah, yo, bro, this is the car right there. What are you all talking about? You always do this. Adult. That just honestly sucks to see. It must be even worse when she lied to him about where she was. Oh man, apparently Jada quit her job to come to this house. I don't know how true that is or isn't, but she is not threatening to break these things in this house if she doesn't get paid. Somebody in this room is gonna pay me or I'm gonna break some shit. Jada, why would you quit your job? Why would you? Oh my God, Jada. Oh, Jesus. I don't think any of us saw that coming. Like, we knew she was mad and threatening it, but like, people are mad and threatening stuff all the time. Like, they don't actually go through with it, but Jada went through with it. Jada, 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 stop. Stop. Pay me. The what? next word that I'm going to hear out of somebody's mouth is, I will pay you. Oh, Drop the s. Ah! Antoine, very poor choice of words. Drop the s. I go. Oh, but then, okay, I can't watch it like this. Jada, look, 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 okay, stop, 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 stop. That stuff is not ours. This house is rented. This house doesn't belong to him. Is, you're breaking someone else's things. It's not the our things. Words out of your mouth better be, I will pay you. Ain't nobody paying you. Jada. This girl was out of control. I came to the conclusion that no one, not even Antoine, could stop her at this point. Her power level was way over 9,000, and when I saw her going for the fourth thing to break, I realized that someone had to give in to her demands. Why would, okay, okay, I'll pay you, I'll pay you. Jeez, calm it down, lady. I don't know why they got so worked up as if the man was in the wrong. I don't know why so many people nowadays waste their time with the talking stage. You want to get to know someone? Cool. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Let's go out. You know what I mean? Like, why are you going to sit there for months being like, hey, how was your day? <laughs> it's like, do you really give off? about how their day went? No, you don't. So just go right away, get the dates going, and then you never have to deal with the bull Dang, Pro got deep with it, and everything he said was true. Stop wasting your time in the talking stage. It makes it easier to cheat. Rule number 13. Without communication, there is no relationship. Without respect, there is no love. And without trust, there is no reason to continue. 
Everything about this quote is 100% facts. A relationship is built on communication. After finding my girlfriend cheating on me in our apartment, I decided it's time for me to collect my belongings, move on from the situation, and move out of the apartment. So I went to my room, and I found her cheating with the same man once again. She was yelling at me, and he looked like he wanted to hurt me, and she even called me crazy. She really did him dirty. He was just trying to get his belongings. Good man for moving on from her when she is clearly a cheater. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. I'll see you all later.